This is the third time I'm trying to do this video. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, it's just been fraught with, with all sorts of issues and problems. And, you know, I've been, uh, first my computer froze, and then I, then I sounded like I didn't know what I was talking about. And then, anyway, so <clears throat> without getting too deeply into it, uh, today was, a, I think, a really good ruling. Uh, for the Supreme Court of Canada when it came to the Trinity Western University Law School case. Um, I, I, think, I, I think they definitely talked about uh, discriminatory practices when it came to, when it came to the law school's uh, covenant, um, uh, basically prohibiting uh, homosexual behavior. I'm, I'm kind of simplifying here, but I mean, you know, it, it, essentially what the covenant did was prohibit homosexual behavior. Um, uh, now, I, I do think that LGBT rights are human rights. Um, I don't think that I don't think that it's without merit to say that. And it's, it kind of harkens back to Hillary Clinton's comments about women's rights are human rights and human rights are women's rights. Um, I think the same thing. I think the same thing applies. Um, I don't think the LGBT movement has been about more or better rights than straight people. It definitely hasn't been. Um, on the liberal spectrum, I would see, I, I could see how people would understand that, but the religious still do not see that. Um, I, I, I don't think you could you could put on the scales uh, human rights and, and, and religious freedoms. Like I, I don't see how, I, you know, it's a matter of opinion. I know this is, is murky water, but I don't see how you could you could separate human rights, even even if you think about the women's rights issues and religious freedoms, like I don't see how you could put those two things on the same on the same scale and, and think that they they balance out. Like uh, um it just seems like a it, it seems silly to me. So I, I you know Goodwin, I don't want to say too much about it because I'm still kind of reading and delving into it. I, I you know I did some initial research. I, I saw some pretty in-depth arguments about why TWU law school shouldn't be allowed to have an accredited law school. Um, TWU shouldn't have an accredited law school. Um, so uh, I, I'm still kind of sifting through, but I, I mean, my, my ultimate my ultimate kind of, of take on this is that human rights trump religious freedoms. Um, and religious freedoms are, a, a, are human rights. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I mean, you know, um, considering that there are 41, well, I don't know what the number is at this point, but I mean, considering that there's all these different religious beliefs uh, i don't even know where to begin on that like i don't i don't know how to even begin telling you what religious rights are to tell you the truth in a certain way um but anyway i'm gonna end it here because i'm still sifting through sort of the 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 ashes um after that whole twu uh law school case and i'm, I'm still kind of making up my mind i i will say that um i think the government should have limited scope in terms of what it can tell businesses to do and not do but the law societies that would have been accrediting TWU's law schools, um, part of their mandate is to ensure equal access to the profession. So, I mean, you know, they, they held up, the, you know, it's not like this is coming out of left field. Uh, they, they, they definitely fought for their end of the bargain, and I think they won, and I'm glad that they won. So, um, I, think, I think that's where I'll end this. Okay, bye.